I'm standing in front of one of the oldest and still existing public baths in the central of Stockholm. It's a hidden gem, only a couple of minutes away from the busy central station. It's one of my favorite spots. I used to live in the neighborhood and I came here for a swim several times a week. Now the interior is, the interior is amazing. And so whenever you come to Stockholm, I suggest you just have a look for yourself. If you don't have time for a swim, swim, grab a coffee or have some lunch. Alex will talk more about the architecture and this beautiful courtyard. Now, on the 1st of August, 1904, the Central Bad, Central Bad was inaugurated. It was Sweden's far most modern public bath. It contained three swimming pools for men, two for ladies, a bowling rink, hot, cold, electric light baths, a tennis court, of course a restaurant, a barbershop, a hairdresser, and last but not least, a cigar store. Now, quite a few cigars have been smoked here, but let's have a look inside. At the first part of the 20th century, very few households had their own private bathroom. So a lot of people visited a public bath to just take care of their personal hygiene. But these public baths were also very popular meeting places, especially for gay men. Now, the bath attendants, they were not only rescuing lousy swimmers, they also were checking how much time people were spending behind the curtains of all the cabin surrounding the swimming pool. Sometimes it can be very, very crowded. And an incident was reported to the police on the 18th of August, 1947. The social democratic politician Otto Lage was in the building. It was not the first time. Whenever he was in Stockholm, he spent hours at Central Badet. The bath attendant, he noticed that Otto Lager was talking to the very young Bruder Hellman. Bruder Hellman looked quite mature for his age, but he was only 14 years old. Homosexuality was legalized since, or decriminalized since 1944 but it was still illegal to have sex with a minor. The bath attendant, he noticed that Otto Lager and Bruder Hellman spent too much time behind the curtain of cabin number 24. So he didn't know what to do, so he contacted and called his colleague, bath attendant Ericsson. So bath attendant Ericsson, he took the bull by the horns, pulled the curtain, and oi oi oi, Otto Lager was masturbating Bru Hellman. The two guys were completely naked and both appeared to be aroused. What the hell are you doing here? You know this is not allowed? Stop immediately and get out of here, ASAP. Ericsson called the police and explained the situation. The police said, make sure the two guys are still in the building when we arrive. So the police arrives, they interrogate bath attendant Ericsson and the two guys. Bru Hellman, he said, I was just promised a chocolate cookie. And Otto Lager, the politician and family man, he got sentenced to three months of hard labor. That was my story. Alex, now it's your turn.